out with the computer <laughs> for sure. Yeah. 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 It made it. It and made then, it. It made it a little Memphis AM. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll tell you what. Let's and get I to it. Let's, having your. Go, go ahead, Tom. I was gonna say I love to play a track. I'm lining up a Devil's Eyes next. Ooh. So if you guys want to chat a little bit about yeah. that one, we have another caller too. So hold on. Oh. I love it. We got another. Let's go and bring him on live. Hello, All welcome right. to the Humagoo. Hello. Hello there. Welcome. Hey, this is Kevin, drummer. Hey, Kevin. Hey, drummer. <laughs> we Kevin, almost, we almost got the whole family now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Man, awesome. We got the beat now. We're bringing in the groove. There you go. <laughs> Kevin, we're just well, about. Thank about... you again. Go ahead. Chat with you guys quickly. Hello. Hey, I was just going to say before you play this awesome track um, that everybody's part on this, Kevin and Jamie and Eric's parts are amazing on this song, and Kim just killed it. (laughs) Thank you, Reba. The lead break break on this song is amazing. Really is. Thank you. The whole thing. To me, this this song has the best solo. Jamie's no. best guitar yeah. solo here. It's pretty <laughs> awesome, that's for sure. And the trumpet we'll right... is fabulous, too. Yes. I know. We'll be right back. We'll be back with you guys in a sec. Thank you. Have a line. Across the floor, grown men begin to cry.
Ready for a different kind of distance? In South Dakota's open spaces, there's room to ride, stop, and explore. When you're ready to travel, great places are waiting. Learn more at TravelSouthDakota.com. I'm Dr. Kevin Izzard. I want to spread the word about the need to get the flu vaccine, especially in communities of color where it tends to hit us harder. Everyone over six months old needs to get the vaccine. And when you do, you'll be protecting yourselves, your family, and so many others. That's why you need to spread the word, too. Word travels fast, so maybe this year the flu won't. Get more information from your doctor's office, your pharmacy, or online with the hashtag Let's Talk Flu. A message from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Alive, number two in the Roots, Roots music chart this week, and I have basically the whole band, Kimberly, Jamie, <laughs> and yes, and uh, my buddy on the drums, catch your name again, I'm sorry about that, and Reba. Kevin? Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Lyons. Oh yeah, yep. Kevin Lyons, that's right. You got a new bass player. I guess that's kind of what I was looking at. You told me you got some yeah. new bass groove, huh? Yeah. Mr. Yes, yeah. we did. Um, yeah, we're we're real lucky, man. Um, we've we've got a local uh, a legend and a, a hero of of Southwest Missouri. It has played in a lot of touring bands, uh, you know, for the last ten years. And uh, Reed Heron Smith is his name, and he is a monster on the bass, and his vocals oh. are just unbelievable as well. So we are. So Super excited to add Reed into the family, and we absolutely cannot wait to record another album with Reed. Um, we really feel like that um, that it's going to be over the top. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that, that that's awesome because you're a big family. I find the blues family and, and the bands are always friends in different bands and going around. And uh, tell us how that works with your band, how you guys came to be. And, and, you know, it's a growing process. For many, many years, you never know that you might be working together later on in, in life, should I say. I'm a fan of music, but it's so interesting to hear all that yeah. stuff. Well, you know, I'll give you a quick rundown um, as far as the origins of the band. This band was started literally as a family band. Um, me and Kim and her dad on bass and vocals, and uh, one of my best friends that I've known for years and years that might, might as well be my brother on drums. Um, it was only started to play once or twice a week locally just to play with our family. And um, it kind of immediately got more attention and got much bigger than that. So so then we were like, okay, now we got to take this serious. And uh, But unfortunately, Kim's Kim's dad couldn't stay with us when we started to travel a lot more and, and, and start to actually tour a little bit. Um, and, and, uh, and, and my, my best friend that was playing with us, he couldn't really do that either. Um, so that's where the wonderful Kevin Lyons from Buffalo, New York comes into the picture. And, uh, Kevin, um, is basically just as much a part of sister Lucille now as, as Kim and I, Exactly. and, uh, and he's been with me through thick and thin, Good times and bad, For sure. um, right there by my side. And Kevin's really actually ultimately the glue that kept this band yes. together. If I would have lost Kevin at some point, I would have probably said to hell with it. Um, maybe I'll let <laughs> Kevin say a word about that. Well, you know what? 
um, so 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 I was playing with this other band uh, for for an IBC competition, right? So so I'm I'm sitting there watching the, these guys play, and I'm going, well, this is this is this is cool. This I'm, I'm sitting with my wife, you know. I'm going, mm-hmm. you know what? What's going to happen? I'm I'm going to be playing with this band soon. And within about <laughs> about four months, I was playing with the band. <laughs> so it was it was it was meant to be. It was wow. meant to be. Well, That's Fossil, a great I didn't story. know that, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know that? So no. Yeah. I didn't know that exactly, but I, you told Chrissy that. That's I awesome. I did. I knew yeah. it. You told me that before. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was probably drunk or something when you told me. <laughs> well, and then uh, and then uh, I I don't know what we we played together with uh, with with Kevin and 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 Terry for what another two couple years, couple years maybe yeah yeah and uh, and uh, and 2015 is when Dad retired and then and then uh, Dad retired and unfortunately Dad isn't with us anymore um, he he passed of cancer last year um, so we're so fortunate and so lucky that we did get to play music with him and and start this band with him so we kind of carry the band on in, in in his name and his honor and um and but then uh that's when we added Eric Gwynn who's playing on the album uh, uh so that that's who you're hearing you know when you listen listen to the tunes and um Eric and Kevin had actually previously known each other and played with each other for like 15 years or something like that um so it was uh it was a no brainer and it was an instant badass rhythm section as soon as he joined the band. You know, so and as far as our connection with Misfits Yeah. I mean we went down there we started going Jamie and I started going there in about twenty eleven. Well Memphis is also the inspiration. Yeah, Memphis is the inspiration behind it all. The whole reason Sister Lucille truly exists is because of Memphis. That I mean, truly, that we we started going there and fell in love, and our hearts were like we were crying watching these people play, and we're like, okay, I think this is where we need to be. <laughs> this is the music we need to be playing, and and we became friends and fans of all the people down there without even telling them we we played music in the beginning, and um, you know, and I think that really made people look at us a little bit different because we weren't there to be like, hey, I'm in a band, hey, I'm in a band. You hear that so many so much when you're in a band so you know i think they kind of looked at us a little different and gave us a chance and once we got to play in front of them it was just like instantly it just opened doors and miss reba how i met her (laughs) i was in basically my best friend took me to her concert knowing i was a huge fan and it was a little tiny thing like at a at you know just a little music club there in town and I'm sitting there at a table, and uh, my best friend brings her up behind me. She says, uh, "She says, turn around, Kim. I turn around, and Miss Reba's standing there. My mouth just falls open. I'm, like, in love with her. <laughs> so, and then she gets up on stage and performs, and I'm, like, crying, standing up. She comes up to me afterwards. She said, honey, it looks like you were in church today. <laughs> I said, I was. I was in blue church, Miss Reba. <laughs> Instantaneous love from that one. If well, wants well, you know the the Memphis thing. I mean, Kim and I have been playing music since we were in diapers, basically. Um, you know, and Kim Kim's originally uh, a country vocalist, and I'm originally just a just a rock guitar player. Um, and 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 we played together since we were 20 years old now, 21 years old. So we've got 20 years on stage playing together. But you know, whenever that we went to Memphis. Um, it, it, it just we we both looked at each other and realized that we had certainly found our home, and and when we knew the music that we were going to be focusing on and playing yep. for the rest of our lives, there's yep. not going to be another change. No. <laughs> this is this is home for us, and that's that's roots, blues, rock music, American music. I mean, it's it's just the best music there is, and and when we found people like Reba there, I mean, I didn't even know. Who Reba was, honestly, um, before Memphis, and uh, the first time I went to see Reba play, I wasn't for 